my guys. So, I probably shouldn't even make any kind of response to trolls, but here I am, doing exactly that, because I feed them even when I shouldn't. So during the now-deleted stream from yesterday, uh, somebody towards the end of it made a comment pointing out the fact I was not wearing a bra and nice nips, and in hindsight I should have been like, thank you, and kept going. I did not handle it that way, and I made it weirder than I needed to, and then this carried over in a troll stream off on the side that was going on at the same time when I looked over there at the train wreck and the fake me that's apparently over there. Um, one of them kept going with that idea and asked the fake me if she wears training bras because I, I have such arrested development. I'm gonna be honest, most of the time I wear no fucking bras. If I do it all, usually, usually I will remember to throw one on before I film a video and then it's off the second the camera goes off, I, I have no use for them. When you're flat, there's no point, I'm sorry, there's not. If you're actually lucky enough to be well endowed, okay, yeah, you need to support those puppies, but I don't have puppies. I don't. <laughs> I don't. So I have the luxury of being able to be like, fuck it. Let them fly free. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Frankly, I don't give a shit if people look. For many years on this channel, I didn't even bother throwing one on to film videos. It just wasn't even a thing. It was just like, why would I care? Okay, so somebody gets a free show out of it. What do I care? Good for them. Good for them is how I view it. Like, I don't give a shit. But it got to a point where I got used to wearing one temporarily when I was working, and it wasn't because I was trying to make people comfortable there by not having to see always-ons, no. I, honestly, it's because there was a walk-in freezer, and frankly, it was physically painful to me if I did not wear one. I needed additional coverage in that area because sometimes they would literally bleed from being in that cold-ass freezer. Like, I just... I can't. So, alright, fine. I got used to it, and then that just kind of carried on for a while um, on camera, even after I quit that job. But it was like, if no, if I'm not on camera, why the fuck would I bother wearing one? Oh my god. So, I don't know. I still view YouTube as a job, too. So I guess it was, like, in my head from the other thing. But, like, my whole long, sordid history with bras is a complicated one of me hating them from day one and finding them pointless because there's nothing there! <laughs> like, literally, there's nips and that's it. I don't give a shit. It's, are some people viewing this as TMI? Probably. Do I care? No. If you don't want to hear it, click off. But, you know, for everybody else, I'm gonna be TMI today because I don't give a shit. So, obviously, most girls hit around 9, 10, and they get given a training bra. Now think about that wordage right there. That already struck me as gross on day one. That you need to train someone into wearing this extra garment that doesn't feel good in any capacity. It's uncomfy. It's too warm. It's it just... I don't like them. Um... But the fact that you have to train them into it to graduate to real bras, that's gross to me. You know what? Training a little girl about a sexualized part of her body sounds like to me. That sounds like grooming. That's how that hits me. And as somebody who was molested as a child, that does not sit well with me. Never did. Never fucking did. So, I would fight this shit tooth and nail. My mom got so pissed at me all the damn time because of the fact that she got me these things and I would not wear them. There was complaints from my teacher by like seventh grade of, please make her wear one. The uniform shirts are very thin and we can see everything. Please make her wear one. And I was like, no, I'll wear a sweater vest over it and that'll be it. I'm not wearing that thing. Like, you, you cannot make me wear that. And she's like, yeah, but you're gonna want to get used to it for when you actually get boobs. I'm like, no, I don't think I'm gonna want to wear one then either. Don't think so. And this wasn't me trying to be contrarian and live the, like, free hippie lifestyle. Burn the bra No, I mean, 
I adopted that mindset later just because it worked for my narrative. But like, I was just like, no, I just don't fucking like them at all. So this was a constant damn battle of her feeling it's inappropriate for you to not wear one. Oh my god, people can see your nipples through a shirt. Oh my god, out of the world. I'm like, why is it that a guy can wear a shirt, his nips can show through it, and no one bats a fucking eyelash, but if it's a woman, that's different. Fuck that. I don't like that. I reject that. If it makes you uncomfy, don't fucking look. On the opposite token, you're enjoying what you're seeing. I don't care if you look. Doesn't bother me none. You don't need to point it out. But I mean, like, I, I don't care if you look. Because, see, uh, to me, I don't view that as a sexualized part of the body, personally. Because guys have them, too. It's just, that'd be like, I can see your elbows. So? Everyone has them. I don't care. I don't care frankly. That's just me. So anyway, fast forward a little bit. Hit like high school age. My mom tries a different approach. Okay, let's try and just give you like a real bra. Maybe you'll like that better. I didn't fucking like it better. We ran the whole gamut of every damn different type there were, but I'm just like, honestly, this feels very insulting to me. This feels like <laughs> denigrating. This feels like I don't know the word I'm looking for here, but just... I saw no point. I'm not even an A. I am a nearly A. To this day. There is nothing there. And yes, for the men watching this who don't understand about bras because they don't have to wear them, yes, that is a real size. You can Google it. Nearly A is a real thing. <laughs> That's why I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Why? Why would I fucking bother? Why? Why make myself uncomfy like that? I don't like that. There's no point. There is nothing to support. There's nothing. There's nothing. The only thing you're worried about is what's poking through the shirt, and if they don't bother me, they shouldn't bother you. How I view it. But we went around and around. She tried to buy the unlined ones that feel like not wearing a shirt, but ha! Shocker! The always-ons show right through them, because I'm one of those. You know who else is one of those? Lies Manella. You know who else doesn't wear bras? Mm. Bite me. So, <laughs> but on the man sideline, you know who else is always on? Will Arnett. So, hmm, apparently I'm in good company. So anyway, just saying, some of us can't help it. They're just there. <laughs> and they're like, sup. So anyway, um, she tried the unlied ones. She tried the padded ones, thinking, okay, we really need you to not have so like, shining all the time, please, this is really bad. No. I don't want to wear them. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't like them. Tried all different fabrics. Cotton, satin, silk, spandex, lycra, you fucking name it. We tried all of them. I don't like them. I don't like them. They dig into my shoulders. Fine, we'll get you strapless. Huh, shocker. I don't have enough to hold up strapless. It doesn't end well for me. It never has. Next thing I know, they're, they're down around my waist. <laughs> it's like, oh, so what was the point of that? Now it's a belt. A very awkward belt. Cool. Tried the stick-on ones. They fall off me within 10 minutes. No matter. <laughs> We've tried this with different brands, too, so it wasn't like one fucked up pair. No, no, no. We've tried that. Also, even in those 10 minutes, it makes me sweat, which is probably what makes them fall off, and I can't handle it. So, no. Not doing that. Tried the sports bras that feel less bra -ish. No, don't like them. And again, no point when there's nothing to support. Fuck that. Tried the bralettes. I'm like, this is literally just a training bra for grown-ups. Fuck you. But <laughs> this is insulting. Tried the half bras. Tried the corset bras. Almost had me for about half a second with the corset bra. Because that one I could cut. It was like corset bra plus push-up bra plus padded bra all at the same time. Even little no tits me could kind of fake cleavage in one of those. Anytime you have ever seen me look like I have cleavage on this channel, it's the result of that thing. It's basically cheating at it. I, I will be the first to admit, it's cheating at it. It's the same as just going mm, as hard as you fucking can to try to make what little is there into something. And there ain't much there to work with. <laughs> so, it is 
not great. It's not great. I'm like, would I feel differently if I had boobs? Sure. I'm sure I would. But I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. To which you're going, so wear fucking pasties and call it a day. I don't like them either. I don't like the way they feel on my skin. They tug, they're uncomfy. I don't like them. Again, if I had like real boobs, maybe I would feel different. But when it's so flat to where it's just like, just moving around makes the pasty like half rip off. I'm like, it, it feels like when you have a band aid on like a knuckle and every time you bend your finger, it's like, ew, I hate how that feels. It's like that, but on a tit. So, you know, you know. <laughs> It's like that. <sighs> so I don't play with those before anyone tries to suggest that. I have tried front closing, back closing. I've tried... What other kinds are there? I'm trying to think what other kinds of bras are there that I've tried. I think that might be all of them. The t-shirt bras, that's another kind. Again, what is the point of this? It's marginally more comfy, but... A, things are still visible through it, and B, if, it, if there's nothing to support there in the first place, and it's not giving the coverage of the thing you find offensive, why would I bother? <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. There's the underwire ones that always end up in inevitably the underwire coming out of one side and stabbing me, which is... Precisely what landed me in the position I was in yesterday of not having one on at all because I only own one at this point Because I fucking hate them and I've thrown them away over and over and over again I cannot stand them. I don't like them and this one underwire came out stabbed me right in the middle of the chest I still have a black and blue bruise from it if this weren't YouTube and I were able to just lift my shirt and show you I would show you how bad this is Fuck that. Guys don't have to deal with this. So I'm like, fuck it. They don't have to deal with it. I don't have to deal with it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I reject it. <laughs> Forget it. But yeah, since that came out, that one's in the trash too. That said, there's a new one on the way. So, <laughs> if I remember to wear it, I remember to wear it. If I choose not to, either don't look if you're that bothered by it, or if you're apparently enjoying looking, then, you know, just quietly keep it to yourself and enjoy it. I, I don't care if you look. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. I know, OnlyFans win? Yeah, there's nothing to look at, so that would be stupid. I would feel bad taking your money for that. It's like, I'm fat with no boobs, why, why would anyone look at that? They wouldn't. So, <laughs> fuck that. But yeah, I don't like them. Oh, bandos, that's a different type. Bandos is a thing. But it's just like the same thing as the strapless bra, where additionally it also doesn't keep things from poking out of it because it's too thin and there's nothing to support, so it's just like a strapless crop top. No. F it. I'm not bothering. I'm not bothering. <sighs> it's hard being female, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I realize, I realize, there's going to be big busted women who watch this who are going, oh fuck you, you're at least lucky enough that yours are small enough to where you don't have to. Imagine having big boobs where you don't even have a choice, you just have to or you're in pain. I don't take that for granted. I am grateful that I'm pretty fucking flat. Granted, part of that was also me trying to like force this myself when I was about 10, wrapping ace bandages around my chest to keep them from growing. I think I did a pretty good job, so <laughs> uh, didn't stop them 100% of the way, but I'd say it probably stopped about like 75% of the way. So didn't want them, still don't want them. Don't tell me you get a boob job. I don't want them. I, I, you guys can keep them, enjoy having them, but I, I do not take it for granted that I don't have anything that requires support, but I just, I don't like how they feel. And I don't like the, the whole notion of you have to do this because societal expectations. And I'm like, yeah, fuck societal expectations. When the hell have I ever listened to those <laughs> on anything? Let's be real. Who cares? It's not that big a deal. There's plenty of people who never wear one a single day in their life. Why does it bother people? Why is this such a thing that people just 
find so weird and so foreign of a notion that, oh my god, she didn't wear a bra. Yeah, you're right, I didn't. I didn't. Who cares? Who cares? Like I said, if I'm off camera, I virtually never wear one. Most of the walking streams, never fucking bother. Like, I don't care. And that's out in public where there's people in real time, in real life, seeing them. Who cares? I don't care. Apparently they don't care. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. Don't get all bent out of shape over weird shit. Because I'm just like, this is stupid. <laughs> If it's a non-issue to me, it should be a non-issue to you. Most of the time, I film at an angle where they're lower than the camera is anyway, but sometimes, yeah, I lean back for a second or lean over and like for a, a second, ooh, okay, you might have seen for like a Grow up. Grow up.